Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Got a lot to cover in this video and I want to finish this portion of this up in this video. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to get after the drawer fronts. Um, now really, there, we have two different drawer fronts to do. Right. Most of them are just regular square, but this top one has a curve. So I'll spend a little time showing you how I get the curve. Uh, and then, of course, the square ones are just the square ones. But even though I did a lot of work to make everything perfect, there's little discrepancy. So I'll be using the panel sled a little bit with a little wedge here and there just to make those gaps uh, what I want. Um, I'll show you the stock here in just a minute. I was very fortunate to get some extra thick stock and we were playing with some ideas. I think we're going to use the stock um, to give a little bevel around the outside. Now I did a little mock-up. Ignore the bottom part on this. Uh, that was a, a botched attempt. Um, and I set a little spacer in here, but I did a little bit of a mock-up and it's, it's very subtle, but it almost pillows back into the frames just a little bit. Um, but most of this bevel comes at the table saw and I'll show you how we do that. Um, but I'm going to start by building drawer number one down here um, and the, all the drawers are numbered and they're assigned uh, a drawer front now and I'll show you that in just a second. So we'll build the square one, then we'll come up and we'll build one with the curve and I'll show you how I get the curve and then I'll turn the camera off and get all the rest of the drawer fronts in. So let me spin the camera around and let me show you the material. Okay, I know that these are pretty hard to see and I tried to use a, a green chalk line to kind of show you how everything um, was laid out. But all of the drawer fronts are all assigned and all of this material is almost five quarters thick so I know I'll be at a full four quarters by the time I get each section flat. Um, but I'm going to start off camera, I'm just going to rough cut all of these to rough length and then we'll get into flattening and, and all of that stuff. So I'll do all that off of camera and we'll get back here and start putting the drawer front in. Okay, so I have that bottom left drawer front in here. Uh, it's all milled flat. Uh, I'm still running maybe around seven eighths. So thickness is good. Um, and I'm getting ready to go ahead and find those, those little indiscrepancies like this one's just got just a little sliver out of square. So I've got a wedge stuffed in over here and I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna be back and forth to the saw multiple times until the gaps are right and everything is sitting uh, as it should. Now while it's in a square mode, one I marked which was top and which was face, um, and I noted down here, and I know you can't see it, but that I still have a square corner on this. So even after I cut this, I'll still have a square corner. But by picking up my center lines, it'll make it easier to locate for the drawer pulls. So I'm going to go ahead and, and trim this off, and I'll get the gaps all right, and then I'll, I'll show you what we're doing over at the drawer. So I've got all my gaps set. I got a, a couple of shims that probably just a little bit light of an eighth of an inch and they slide in here really nice. So I'm happy uh, with the fit. Now I went with a little extra gap, top and bottom, uh, like I said, almost an eighth of an inch. We just got our first snowstorm, so I know it's the driest part of the season right now. Um, so. I want a little extra gap here for a little room for growth, so hopefully I'm not pulling these out in the summertime and adjusting drawer fronts. Um, so next up, we're going to put this taper on it, and I'm just going to put a mark on here where the web frames are, and then you know it'll come out in, in here somewhere, um, roughly an inch to an inch and a half. It'll be a very shallow blade angle. But I'm going to move over to the table saw and I'm going to cut that bevel next and I'll show you that. Using my Wixley gauge, uh, I've determined the angle that I want on this is just a little bit over 74 degrees. So I've set that up 
And now I'm just gonna run the two long sides and then I'll reconfigure with something a little bit more stable up here to run uh, the two end sides. So confession time, I was going to use my tenon jig to support this piece and, and, and run it, but for some reason it shrunk or my fence changed or something, it wouldn't slide on the fence. So I just tossed together a, a new temporary version, uh, does exactly the same thing, but now I have that support I want up here and I can just go ahead and, and push this through. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do before I mount this drawer front and sand everything, um, I created a template uh, for the drawer pulls that my wife picked out. And this is where those center lines come in handy and I still have them on there. I'm just going to line up my marks. And get a little pilot drill to locate for the drawer pull. Okay, again, I'm just using those two screw holes to locate and I'll mount that to the drawer front since these get drilled out later for the handle and then I'll remove the drawer and I'll attach it from the inside. Okay, I just threw a couple of quick clamps on here just to make sure everything stayed in place while I removed the drawer. And we're just gonna go ahead and mount her in there now. Okay, so the last thing I did was just back these screws out just a little bit so I have a natural drawer pull here uh, while I get the rest of the drawer fronts in. But everything functions as it should. My reveals are nice. Um, it's soft, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna move up next to that upper one and I'll show you how we get that curve. So to get this curve in the front, I've removed the drawer and I slid the top back. Uh, I put a couple of clamps on it just so nothing silly happens with this top. I got too much work in it. I created a little piece of quarter inch plywood that's going to sit right on top of, of both of these because I'm after this angle for this curve, uh, not the entire drawer front, just the curve. So I'm going to slide that in and bring it forward, hold it in place and get my mark. And I'll go cut that out at the bandsaw. So now I'll just do the rest of the drawer front exactly the same way I did the bottom, only it'll have a curve in the top. Where it'll get different is when we have to do that chamfer, because I won't be able to run that through the table saw. But we'll get there in just a little bit. So this part is exactly the same. I've marked my curve on the top, but I'm going to chamfer this bottom edge and the two side edges before I come and cut this curve just because it's easier in the saw. So to get this chamfer on the curve, I've marked how far down the side it goes and how far back the others go. And I'm actually gonna power carve the bulk of this away. And then I will come back and clean it up with a rasp and uh, the sanding block, et cetera, to, to finish it all up. All 
right, so there's that one all in. Functions really nice, doesn't hang up on anything. All my reveals are good, so I'm happy with the way that one looks. I got 18 more to go, and then I'll turn the camera back on. So there it is, guys. It's all finished up. Everything functions uh, super nice. I'm really happy with it. Uh, in full confession, I wish this, dark, this top board would have been a little bit darker. It's a little bit lighter than the rest, um, but we'll see how it comes out with the finish. Uh, the only thing left is to physically attach this top, and I'm going to use uh, figure eights for that. Um, I'm just going to use a Forstner bit to create the locations uh, and set these in, and then I'm going to set this top aside. When this goes in the house, the top will be off. All the drawers will be out. This thing is just super heavy. Um, and then I'll, I'll grab some footage in the house once it's all done. But next up... Uh, I'm just going to hit this all with a coat of Armor Seal, which is just a wipe on poly, and I'm going to do one coat. I like Armor Seal uh, because it really pops the grain and makes things stand out pretty good, and then I'm going to let it cure pretty much all night, and then I'll come out here tomorrow and start shooting the poly. So it was kind of a late night last night, uh, but I did get a coat of armor seal on everything. Um, I'm happy with it. Got, of course, all the finish sanding and whatnot. This is going to be nearly impossible to film spraying a project this size. Um, you can see down here I've got all the drawers set up on the floor. Um, and you can't see over here I have the top and, of course, the case. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get a first coat of general finishes, high performance in satin. Uh, and I'm going to get that laid down on the whole thing and I'm going to let it sit for a few hours. And then I'm going to come back and block everything out at 400. So the next time you see all this, it will be in the house with all the hardware and everything put back on it. Uh, probably a couple of days. So there it is, it's all wrapped up. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to show this again until it was in the house and all put together. But I had to put all the drawers together out here anyway, so I just set them in, in the case before taking them in the house. The top is still not attached. Uh, in fact, the top's really still not fully cured yet either. Um, so I'll move that in in the house tomorrow along with all the drawers and everything else. Um, it's certainly not perfect. Uh, there were some little mistakes along the way, uh, but I'm overall I'm pretty happy with it. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. And until next time, take care. <laughs> <laughs>